to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, here with another movie review. And yes, it's still February, and yes, we're still doing Valentine's flicks for all you lovebirds out there who are still getting it on. Now that is something you'd have to call a doctor about. Anyway, <laughs> today we're going to review the 2009 rom-com, He's Just Not That Into You. Well, ladies and gentlemen, will it be good? Will it suck balls? That's what we're wanting to find out. <laughs> so, and I especially do these uh, reviews for the guys uh, to see if you would like it or not. You know, when your girlfriend says, Let's watch He's Just Not That Into You! And you go, Let's watch The Dark Knight. <laughs> but of course you lose. So, uh, you can watch this movie! Um, not that any girl should be that giddy about this film. So, uh, anyway... <laughs> Uh, all you chicks out there say I gotta do more girl flicks, so now you can shut your mouths and put my... Never mind. Alright, here we go. He's Just Not That Into You is a 2009 rom-com that sees a group of people whose lives <laughs> connect all about the pros and cons of love. And it, it in Baltimore. It takes place in Baltimore. Not at, like, the aquarium or nothing, but... Push the girl in the turtle pond or something. <laughs> uh, it stars Jennifer Goodwin, Kevin Connolly, Scarlett Johansson, mmm, yummy, Bradley Cooper, for you ladies out there like him, Justin Long, Ben Affleck, Daredevil himself, ooh, uh, <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Connolly, Drew Barrymore, an A list favorite, fav flavorlet. And Chris Christopherson, whose last movie was Blade? Oh, looks like Blade. All right. <laughs> so uh, it is the 2009 version of Valentine's Day, for those of you who can't tell. This came out before Valentine's Day, so did they copy? Or, or did they know about it, that they were doing it beforehand? I think it's based on a book, so... Not that I read, but <laughs> I can't read. Alright. So anyway, what did I think of He's Just Not That Into You? Let's find out. It is a comedy, but, uh, you know, it also has some dramatic parts to it. Um, while it has its moments in the comedy department, it has more misses than hits, which seems to be a lot of these Valentine's flicks I've been reviewing as of late. Uh... <laughs> it really makes the dating scene and the married life look like hell. It really does. And almost hopeless to find love. Which is always interesting. And I don't know what's going on down in the downstairs studio. They must be making that porno again. So, uh, much like the, uh, the film Valentine's Day, which I compare this to because it seems like the same goddamn movie. <laughs> Although I like Valentine's Day better than this, actually. Um, there's a big cast... And some of the actors have a little more on time, on screen time than others, uh, or larger storylines than others in the film. Uh, but the main story, I was surprised at this, is actually between Jennifer Goodwin and Justin Long. I thought the main story would be, hello, Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> and uh, Ben Affleck, the two big stars, but they're like barely in it for some odd reason. Um... Probably because they had other shit to do. <laughs> anyway. I thought the only real saving grace of this film is the cast. You know, the cast is very talented. Big names. Uh, and uh, nice looking. And Scarlett Johansson. But, uh, you know, they're only as talented. But you know, the movie's only as good as the script. You know, the actors can't say, I'm going to change this whole story. Because I don't want to be a part of this. So, you know, whatever. Um, you know, the cast is talented, but the script, not so much in the story. <laughs> um, and it's also too long for my liking. A chick flick that goes anywhere near two hours or over is like being in the hospital. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I think. I think the ladies will enjoy this one a lot more than the dudes out there. Where are my dudes at? Um, so the bottom line is like Stone Cold would say. 
Uh, I'm just not that into it. <laughs> oh, how original, Wes. You're a dirty, dirty bastard. I don't know what that means. Anyway, I know what it means. I just don't know what that has to do with this movie. Anyway, the, he's just not that into you. It's on HBO right now. It'll probably be on the Skinamax soon. Uh, you can get it through Netflix if you don't have any of them. So, Or buy it if you're really bored. Okay. So, therefore, the A-list gives the film, He's Just Not That Into You. The rating of meh. You know, it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. As I usually say when I give it a meh. It is not the best at any means. Um, it wasn't really enjoyable to me. But it's... and it, Just for the fact that Scarlett Johansson's in it, I can't give it a suck it. <laughs> if she wasn't in it, eh, you, might, you, might be getting, you might be getting sucked right now. But uh, yeah, we'll bump it up just a little bit for her. So, it gets a meh. So tune in tomorrow for the A-list when I give my Oscar predictions and a new movie review. So till then, Troop, out.